This is problem number 36 in chapter 10 of the Gene Coley textbook. The problem reads, a 15 centimeter radius air duct is used to repl replenish the air of a room. Nine by two by five by 4.5 meters every 16 minutes. How fast does air flow in the duct? Uh, this is a fluid flow continuity problem. Um, kind of uh, maybe a, a, a variant of one. So uh, I'm gonna kind of make a sketch here of the room and uh, the room is given to us kind of a, as a cube here with these dimensions. And we can say that the, uh, the room is fed by a duct and the duct is uh, circular and uh, we've been given the radius. The radius is 15 centimeters. And ultimately we're given the volumetric flow rate. We're told that the volume of the room is replaced uh, every 16 minutes. So we're given the volume flow rate through the duct. So whatever the volume of the room is, that, that, that air, the, that volume needs to flow th uh, into the room every 16 minutes. So we know the volumetric flow rate. We know the volume of the room uh, and we know the time. And we also know that, uh, we also know that th that has to flow through the pipe. Um, in the same amount of time. So we could say then that the volumetric flow of the pipe needs to match the volumetric flow of the room. Or another way of describing that is we could see, uh, say that the area of the pipe, the cross-sectional area of the pipe times the kind of X distance that it uh, flows through divided by time. And of course now we can see that this X distance that it travels through. This is kind of a derivation here. So we have the area I've drawn here in red uh, and I'm drawing a slug of air times this distance D uh, or X in the way that I've written it here. So now I can say, um, all right, well, that's going to be equal to the area of the pipe times the velocity of the uh, air flowing through the pipe. And that's ultimately what I'm looking for here, that velocity uh, V. So to kind of clean this up a bit, we can say then that the volume of the room uh, divided by the time or the volumetric flow rate is equal to the area of the pipe times the velocity flowing through the pipe. We can see that I need to divide both sides by the area of the pipe and I get the volume of the room divided by pi r squared, the area of the pipe, times uh, the time. And that's going to give me the uh, velocity v of the fluid through the pipe. Let's go ahead and plug some numbers in now. Uh, and so therefore, um, for the uh, numerator or the volume of the room, I'm going to get 9.2 meters by uh, 5 meters by 4.5 meters. And uh, underneath it, I need to divide by the constant pi times point 0.15 meters squared times the time, which is 16 minutes. But of course, I need to convert that time to seconds. So there are uh, 60 seconds in one minute. And the minutes will cancel out there. Uh, I could move that 60 seconds to the numerator here if I wanted to. Either way, I plug that into my calculator and I get the uh, speed is about 3.1 meters per second through the pipe. And uh, that's the answer to problem number 36.